Amy 1 2022 problem number 15. American in writational mathematics examination. We want to solve this problem. If you want to have next videos, subscribe my YouTube channel now and turn on notification. Also, if you have any question about the solution of this problem or other problems, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the comments and description. We have these three equations and the problem says x, y, z are positive real numbers. We want to find this if it is m over n, which m and n are relatively prime numbers, and plus n equals what? So here we factor from x from first one root x times root 2 minus y plus root y times root 2 minus x equals 1. For each of them, we write something like this. 2 minus z plus root z times, let me write z a little better, 2 minus y equals root 2. And the last one, root z times 2 minus x plus root x times root 2 minus z equals root 3. Now, we want to find this. For these problems, consider a little assumption, a little sentence. So I consider this one x prime, this one y prime, this one z prime. So because it is x prime, so x is what? x is, if you take x to right hand side, for example, let me write completely this part. 1 minus x is x prime, so we understand that 1 minus x prime is x. And also we have, for each variable, we have x and 2 minus that variable, 2 minus x. 2 minus x is you add to each side plus 1, and it will be x1 plus x prime. So that's good because, for example, the product of them will be 1 minus x prime squared. So if I replace these with, or we can write it here. So let me rewrite these three equations. The first one, root x will be what? Root x will be 1 minus x prime times 2 minus y will be 1 plus y prime. And we want to find what x prime, y prime, z prime squared, the product of them, square of that. Plus y, y will be what? Like x, root 1 minus y prime, 2 minus x, will be 1 plus x prime equals 1. The next equation, root y, like this, root 1 minus y prime times root 2 minus z. It will be 1 plus z prime plus z. It will be 1 minus z prime, and 2 minus y will be 1 plus y prime equals root 2. And the last equation will be what? Root z like this. 1 minus root 1 minus z prime times root 2 minus x, which is times 1 plus x prime plus root x will be what? Plus root 1 minus x prime times root 2 minus z will be root 1 plus z prime like this. It will be equal to root 3. Okay, now we have these terms. We raise each equality to the power of 2. It will be 1 minus x prime. Let's consider the first one. 1 minus x prime times 1 plus y prime plus this is squared plus this is squared. 1 minus y prime times 1 plus x prime plus 2 times product of them will be what? 1 minus x prime squared times 1 minus y prime squared. And it will be what? It will be 1. So here, if we consider, we have 1, 1, x prime, y. Okay, so we have 2, 1 plus 1. y prime here, negative y prime, they will be cancelled. Negative x prime, x prime will be cancelled. Negative x prime, y, negative x prime, y will be negative 2x prime y prime and plus 2 times this, 2 times root 1 minus x prime squared times 1 minus y prime squared equals 1. So we can conclude what 
we can conclude 2 root 1 minus x prime squared 1 minus y prime squared equals what 1 minus 2 minus 1 and it will be 2x prime y prime 1 minus 2 minus 1 so similarly if we do for the second one we will have exactly the same thing because it is for x prime y prime it is for y prime z prime so we can write let me paste it here we have then we can reach three good equation the first one is this the second one here two times root of one minus x one minus y here one minus y prime one minus y prime squared times one minus z prime squared equals two y prime z prime here we had one minus two it was what negative one here if we raise the power of two two minus two will be zero so it will be this and you can cancel these two and the last one one minus z prime squared times one minus x prime squared equals three minus one will be what three minus two you like here three minus two will be one and two x prime z prime plus one okay again here we raise both sides to the power of two let me write rest with blue so here if we raise both sides to the power of two it will be four times one minus x prime squared times one minus y prime squared equals this part it will be 4x prime y prime squared minus 4x prime y prime plus 1. And if we simplify this one, we will have what here? We have 4x prime y prime. If I write 4x prime squared y prime squared minus 4x prime squared minus 4y prime squared plus 4 and we can cancel this term and this term so what we will have what if we take all things to right hand side we will have 4x prime squared plus 4y prime squared minus 4x prime y prime and it equals what right hand side will be this and left hand side 4 minus 1 3 and we switch the sides here now if we use exactly the same thing here, let's check. We will have raised both sides to the power of 2. Then we will have y prime squared z prime squared minus y prime squared minus z prime squared. And plus 1 equals y prime squared z prime squared. And we can cancel these two things. So if you take it to right hand side, y prime squared plus z prime squared equals 1. And the last one. You say, okay, if you raise the power of 2, it will be x prime squared, z prime squared, minus x prime squared, minus z prime squared, plus 1 equals 2x prime. Uh, raise, if we raise to power of 2, it will be 4x prime squared, z prime squared, plus 4x prime, z prime, plus 1. Now, uh, we forgot, like these things, we have 2 in all of them. Because like this, we say 2 times this, so we forgot 1, 2 here. So we should multiply this part by 4. And if we cancel 4 x prime z, x prime squared z prime squared, we cancel that. And then we can say what if we take to right hand side 4 x prime squared plus 4 z prime squared plus 4 x prime z prime equals 4 left hand side 4 minus 1 3 so we have these three equations okay if we subtract third equation from first equation then we will have what 4x prime squared minus this will be cancelled 4y prime squared minus 4z prime squared minus 4x prime y prime minus 4x prime z prime equals 0. You can cancel 4 from all terms. You divide both sides by 4. So here it will be what y prime minus z prime. This y prime plus z prime. 
and the next one is minus x prime y prime plus z prime equals zero and then if you factor from y prime plus z prime it will be y prime minus z prime minus x prime equals zero so we have two cases y prime equals this one is zero so equals for example negative z prime or z prime equals negative y prime and this one zero or y prime equals z prime plus x prime so let's consider first case case one if y prime equals negative z prime okay here if we consider the equation that contains y prime and z prime let's check that out this equation contains y prime and z prime we want to replace this condition so control v i replace y prime with negative z prime it will be one plus z prime times one plus z prime plus one minus z prime times one minus z prime equals root two here it will be one plus z prime plus 1 minus z prime times 1 minus z prime root of that we we'll square cancel 1 minus z prime equals root 2 they will be cancelled so we conclude 2 equals root 2 and that's a contradiction now we conclude what case 2 only happens so we've concluded that y prime case 2 y prime equals z prime plus x prime okay now if we consider this equation y prime equals z prime x prime and here we've reached three equations we want to use these three equations and the new condition we've reached so here control v okay if i consider for example first one we have only x prime z prime and here if i replace it in this part y prime squared is z prime squared if i replace with this z prime squared plus x prime squared plus 2 z prime x prime plus z prime squared equals 1 so i conclude what i conclude x prime squared plus 2 z prime squared plus 2 x prime z prime equals 1 now here because i want to reach this if i multiply by 2 2x prime squared plus 4z prime squared plus 4x prime z prime equals 2 and if we subtract this from this they will be cancelled here 4x prime squared minus 2x prime squared 2x prime squared 3 minus 2 will be 1 so x prime squared is 1 over 2 and we want to find what the problem says x prime y prime z prime squared which is x prime squared y prime squared z prime squared so we found x prime squared is one over two the first one okay now x prime squared is one over two we want to use it here if we use in this part it will be four times one over two will be two plus four times if we factor from 4z prime it will be z prime plus what plus x prime here look i want to find instead of y prime i can say okay y prime is what z prime plus x so z prime plus x prime squared z prime squared here it's z prime z prime plus x prime so that's good because it's we can raise it to power of 2 and reach this so it will be this equals 3 so if you subtract z prime times z prime plus x prime you say 3 minus 2 1 and divide by 4 1 over 4 now the answer will be what the answer means i this part let me call this one t t is what 1 over 2 z prime plus x times z prime it is 1 over 4 so it will be 1 over 16 if you raise it to the power of 2 and it will be 1 over 32 and m over n they are relatively prime 1 and 32 the problem says m plus n is what 1 plus 32 which equals 33